Today on Houston Life, you could be our next winner on the Houston Life prize wheel. There are still four tickets to the Astros and $1,000 up for grabs. Those are just some of the prizes that could be yours. And we are sharing a super fun way for the whole family to cruise around Galveston Island this summer. Plus, ahead of Father's Day, we'll take you to a local barber shop where dads are sharing what it means to be a father. And pack your tent and get ready to enjoy the great outdoors. We'll show you five fun camping experiences around Houston. All that and more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to Houston Life on this June 18th, 2021. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Lauren Kelly. And for Courtney Zavala, who's got the day off today? It's great to have you in the seat. Thank you. It's Friday. It is Friday. Yesterday, we were out at Juneteenth at Emancipation Park. It was hot outside. Uh, today, we're in studio where it's a little cooler. But, of course, we, it is Juneteenth Eve. How's, how about that? Okay, that's fair enough. Yes, it was a wonderful day. And how are you feeling? Just before we went live, you said that you have some sort of issue. Your eyes were crossing because you were looking at What's happening? Let me tell you something. I think this was when hairspray happens to good people. Bad hairspray. I, I have one piece of hair that I can't seem to, like, flatten down, stick down, and it keeps popping up, and I tried to get you to yank it out. I don't know, though, because it, especially, like, at my age, I had a hair that was below my hairline recently, and, you know, as men of a certain age, we start when we the hairline goes back a bit. Can you afford to yank a hair out? <laughs> I think I can. You, your hairline is perfectly oh, fine. You're very sweet. Do you want me to pull it? Yeah, just get it. This is a good you idea. Just one. I don't okay, know. Just, just one. one. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, okay, there you go. Actually, can I keep it? There's a fan okay. who keeps writing okay. to me asking for one of these from you. Not so weird. I'll just not weird I'm at all. save this right down <laughs> oh here. God. Okay. So <laughs> as we mentioned. So much better. <laughs> yesterday, uh, we were out at Emancipation Park, and it's such a great place because you know it's I didn't realize it's not just the oldest city park in the city of Houston. I didn't it's know the that. oldest park in the state of Texas. It's beautiful. So after the Emancipation Proclamation, the, the slaves were freed. Mm -hmm. Texas, it took a couple years for the message to get all the right. way through Texas. Right. Um, and a group of four slaves, freed slaves, purchased the 10 acres that are now Emancipation Park. Wow. So that's just it, it, that's just a piece of the incredible rich history. And in case you missed yesterday's show, here are some of the highlights. We are here at Emancipation Park, right at Emancipation Ave and Elgin, and the backdrop of downtown behind us is beautiful. It was founded in 1872 by four young men right out of slavery, and this is a historical landmark of this beautiful 10 acres. It has so much rich culture, history, and tradition. We come here and celebrate every single year. So we are happy that everybody will now understand what Juneteenth is really all about the freedom of all slaves in the United States. We rise up. So, you know, that song that everybody's singing. And so, I'll rise yes, up. Yeah, rise up. This is your finished product. Oh. You'll put it on a sheet pan. <laughs> I cannot tell you how proud I am of this park, Emancipation Park. I come here every single morning. I'm going to continue coming here every day because it is such a beautiful place to come and see. Yeah, so beautiful, incredible history. Go check it out right there at Elgin and Emancipation. And for native Houstonians, too, in case you haven't been down Emancipation Avenue, that's the former Dowling Street that was renamed okay. to become Emancipation Avenue. Very appropriate uh, a few years ago that happened. Yeah, for a look at all of our coverage from yesterday, just visit clicktohouston.com slash Juneteenth. And, of course, there you'll find all kinds of info about the rich history of the park from performers to singers and poets. All the great stuff right there on our website. Okay, very, very nice. So, um, dad jokes. Ooh. This is something that I have been accused of. I don't know, the, my jokes are maybe not so great. Do people tell you, like, oh, you know, that's, that's such a dad joke? Yeah. And we're going to get into some specific examples okay. um, in, after the commercial break. But I got to ask you, how are you celebrating Father's Day? Oh, <laughs> this weekend, we've got to split it between my boyfriend Gabriel's family 
and my family. And since they have young kids involved, it's just like whatever is going to be the easiest for the kids, right? So I think that since we have a pool at my house, we had the pool guy come out, had it cleaned. I think it's just going to be easiest for everybody Can't to come on over. Okay, yeah. let me know what time I should be there. Uh, anytime. You no can come problem. over tonight if you want. Yeah. Okay, so perfect. You know, for Father's Day every year, I always uh, give a tribute and a shout out to my mom. And I think for anyone out there, grandparents, single parents, there are a lot of people in our lives who play the role of father, Absolutely. even if they don't perfectly fit that description of like what we think of as a traditional right. dad. Okay. Um, and so if you have a single parent or a single mom out there, just remember them on Father's Day because uh, there are certainly a lot of people. It takes a village to raise a child. Oh, absolutely. Sometimes that village only consists of a single mom, <laughs> right? Um, but congrats to all the dads out there. And I hope that this weekend people can take time to sit back and think about uh, you know, think about what's important. Yeah, and, and one of our producers, B, who has her little baby here, happy first Father's Day to your husband, Frank, who's here in the studio. Oh, Yay! there's Frank. Okay, look <laughs> at that little Sophia. Oh, She's absolutely adorable. For most of us, this is the first time meeting Sophia, and right next to Frank, actually, oh. is Monica, and that is Beatriz's mom, who is visiting from Puerto Rico, and we are so glad to have them in studio. We haven't seen them because of the pandemic and I'm just so happy that they're here. Well and also you know we haven't had guests in studio for a very very long time right. so it's so great that people are now <laughs> vaccinated and coming. Look at that face. Oh, look at geez. that face. Oh the and her eyelashes if you if you look up close her eyelashes are just to die for. Okay just baby's gorgeous. first television appearance. <laughs> I'd say she did a pretty good she job. Passed. Good job <laughs> mom and dad and grandma. Good job. All right still to come on Houston Life from knock knock jokes to who has your nose. <laughs> The dad jokes that are so bad, I think they are so good. <laughs> and as we head to break, advice for girl dads from KPRC2 dad, Justin Stapleton. One of the best advice I can give for new girl dads is to make sure that you always have some of these on you at all times. These are hair ties. In fact, as my girls were younger, I made sure that I always had them on my wrist at all times. Because if you're ever in a pinch, you need to do a ponytail real quick, there you go. And even as they've gotten older, um, they have their own hair ties, but I still keep these on my wrist all the time because it's always sort of a symbol that they're always with me, even when they're not here. to Houston Life. If your dad appreciates a glass of wine, you will want to listen up. We are tasting a cab to treat dad for Sunday's Father's Day. All right, so here is the info. It's the Paul Hobbs Cross Barn Cabernet Sauvignon. What's in there? Sauvignon. And it can be found at your local H-E-B. So mm. take a taste. Let's see what we taste here. Mm. Oh, that's nice. So the experts describe this, Lauren, as medium-bodied wine, sustainable vineyard practices, and uh, the aromas have huckleberry, blackberry, tobacco, anise, and cigar box. Okay, some of the flavors that I got, ripe briar fruit, marionberry, dark chocolate, graphite, and wet slate. Hold on, you got briar fruit <laughs> when you tasted that? How sophisticated think... is your... How sophisticated <laughs> is your palate horn <laughs> going? Something I have yep, never I heard in a wine know. taste. Mm, I'm, I'm getting briar fruit. Wow. <laughs> I also like that they served it cold. You it's are very cold. advanced. <laughs> it is slightly, slightly chilled. So okay. this bottle is a little more expensive, but again, we're for celebrating Father's Dad. Day. It would be great for a gift. $41. And you know, Brandon taught me a trick a while back. Okay. You know, if you're taking someone a gift, like a gifted bottle of wine to a dinner party or something, and if it's the type of wine that should be chilled, okay. you take it room temperature because then it's a gift. If you take it already chilled, Drink the assumption now. the assumption is like, hey, I brought this to open immediately. Gotcha. And okay. so that's only if you want to have some of the gift that you bring your friends. Yes, that's okay. my little tidbit That's a good of info. tidbit. I like so that. another fun fact about this specific wine, it is named after the 150-year-old cross barn located on the Hobbs oh. family estate farm in upstate New York. Still, for $41, I think it's a great buy. Okay. I really, really like it, for and sure. They are Having a sale now through Tuesday, June 22nd, you can get 15% off when you purchase six bottles or more, or 20% off when you purchase 12 bottles or, or more. I like it. I like it a lot. 12 bottles, that would last 
quick. <laughs> a couple days at our house. A reminder, you can find today's featured wine at your local HEB. Okay, so speaking of dads and Father's Day, Lauren, you know me, I love a good dad joke yeah. because that's kind of the only style of joke <laughs> I know. <laughs> I do too. I really love, I love to laugh at dad jokes because I have the stupid humor that you know okay. that I have. So you pulled some. I was looking at today.com yeah. earlier and the title was essentially the epic dad jokes. They're so bad that they are guaranteed to make you cringe. <laughs> that so, sounds right up my alley. So I have a couple for okay. you. Right. Why does Snoop Dogg carry an umbrella? I know this one. Faux drizzle! Faux the drizzle. <laughs> what did the buffalo say to his son as he walked out the door? I don't know. What? Bye, son. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. Uh, how much do roofs cost? Uh, I don't know. Nothing. They're on the house. Uh, oh, okay. My turn. Are what? You, you didn't like that one? I <laughs> thought it was a good one. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. Okay. All right. Why can't a nose be 12 inches? I don't know. Then it would be a foot. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, okay. How do you cut the ocean in half? I don't know. With a sea saw. Okay. Okay, okay, but hold on, hold on. This is my absolute favorite one that I read of the whole day. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> what did 50 Cent do when 50 got hungry? 50 Cent or 50 Cent? 50 Cent. I don't know. 58. Get it? 58? <laughs> What did 50 Cent do when he got hungry? 58. 58. Got it. Okay. <laughs> I tagged 50 Cent in that too. It's good. It's good. Okay. okay. He's a local now. I'm Sorry. sure he'll appreciate that. Okay. So uh, speaking of our question of the day, I think, Joe Sam, you have some pretty good dad jokes from some of our viewers. Is that right? Yeah. They're coming in right now. Very, very funny joke with the 50 cent. I love that one, Lauren, too. You know what, you guys? I'm getting briar fruit from this, too. But we're going to continue to say... Sure. <laughs> we're going to get to those comments right now. We're asking for those dad jokes. Melissa writes in, why do they give nurses red crayons? Well in case they need to draw blood. Get it? <laughs> we got the next one coming in. Mick writes, I used to be wealthy until I brought bills, hair piece. Now I have bills to pay. <laughs> you get it? These are good. I'm loving these. Rhonda writes in, every Easter Eve, Dad, tonight we're going to die. <laughs> die as in D-Y-E, not D-I-E. So I'm sure it's so it good. scares the crap out of them. Of course, we want you guys to head over to the Houston Life Facebook page and join the conversation. We'll share more of your comments a little later on in the show. This has been absolutely funny. I love all of these comments that everybody's putting in. I'm so happy, Joe, that you appreciate our humor. Yeah. <laughs> I got I got one more for you, Derek. Oh, you do? Okay. okay. You ready? Oh. What do you call a bed that's been passed down through generations? A bed mm -hmm. that's been passed down through... Mm -hmm. Generations. This one is hard. Uh, old and dirty? No. Stinky and crappy? An air mattress. H E. <laughs> I R. Oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, Cheers, I see Lauren. what you did. Good. Thank you, okay. Joe. Those are good. Cheers, Joe. Thank you for that. Wow, Lauren, that was a really good one, too. Thank you. I'm here all hour. But I know why you did the mattress joke, though, because speaking of mattresses, maybe you've been thinking of replacing your mattress. If you think you need to replace it, chances are you might need to. So the experts at Texas Mattress Makers can build you a quality mattress that will cost you less. They recently opened a fifth showroom located in Atascacita. It's still Lauren, the same great products, same experts, and same factory direct prices. You've all, congratulations. I cannot believe this is actually happening again. You are opening a brand new location. We're in Atascacita, your fifth location. Correct. And for viewers who may be unfamiliar with this, we're right off 1960 and Westlake Houston Parkway. Is that right? That's exactly right. And next to the 99 cent store. Okay, it keeps Can't it easy it. to find. That's so right. why did you open a location in this neck of the woods? When we met five years ago, we had that one location at East Downtown. Then we opened up Katy, then we opened up Woodlands, then we opened up Baybrook, Baybrook. and now Atascacita. For the same reason, all of them. We actually get customers that call and request that we open up the stores in those locations. 
Well, I think it's fantastic, and you know, full disclosure, I am a huge Texas Mattress Makers fan. Every mattress in our house uh, came from your factory. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about uh, just the buying process, because people can visit your website, texasmattressmakers.com. They can take the sleep quiz, sort of answer basic questions about, do you sleep on your back, your side, your stomach? kind of get an idea for the bed that they want, but you essentially don't have a bunch of mattresses just sitting around in a warehouse waiting to be purchased. You make them to order. Correct. How quick is that process? Okay. So if today we bought a mattress, you would get it within, worst case scenario, seven working days. In other words, Monday through Friday is five working days, and then Monday and Tuesday the following week. Got it. We, so don't, we don't count the weekends. and. Really, what you said, in especially today, is very important. Everybody knows that raw materials are almost non-existent. If you order anything today, you cannot buy a car, you cannot buy a refrigerator, you can, lumber is gone through the roof, you can't build homes. It's an issue. It's a, it's a national issue. Yeah. What I have is 42 years' worth of experience, and I saw it coming. Not to boast, but I really did. I saw it coming. So most mattress stores, have finished inventory in their back, hoping that you'll come in and they're gonna sell you what, what they have to sell you. I have raw materials. And I know which, each one of these mattresses behind us is manufactured differently. Nothing makes me happier. You told me one day, actually, let's tell the truth. I told you that when you're gonna have guests and they're gonna sleep on the mattress, they're gonna wake up the next morning and they're gonna tell you this is the best night's sleep I've had. It happens True consistently. Or not? Yeah, anytime okay. someone stays in the spare room. Because I want you to understand, I love what I do, as you say. I am passionate about it. And I believe anyone and everyone should be passionate about what they do. If I sell someone the wrong mattress, it bothers me. I feel like I've cheated that customer. I feel like I've done something wrong. Not acceptable to me. So I'm gonna put all the time and effort in teaching our employees and supplying our customers what they need. You know, it's, it's, it's a small world and a small word. What you need, not what I want. I think that is the biggest difference between Texas mattress makers and all the rest of them. It's so true, so locally sourced materials, when people come in and shop for that mattress, you're not gonna let them pay for it and then say, surprise, your mattress is not available for months. You will ensure that that customer gets that mattress within about a week. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me? I said, yes, ma'am. And again. I meant to say, yes, sir. <laughs> and now, the new show is starting. I think we're done here. He and hi. Come visit Yuval in Atascacita, his fifth <laughs> location. Congratulations, Yuval. Aren't you glad we can hug again now that we're both fully vaccinated? Oh, Yuval is so much fun. Aww. I actually saw him this morning. Oh, he looks like a good hugger, too. <laughs> well, he certainly is. Now is the time to shop and save during the Texas Mattress Makers Summer Sale. Save up to 35% off plus free delivery on select mattresses. Just visit TexasMattressMakers.com or call 281-973-3019. Awesome. Right next to the 99 cent store there in so Atascacita. Cool. Huh? All right, when we come back, it could be your turn to spin and win big on the Houston Life Prize Wheel. $1,000 dollars could be yours. And as we had to break, here is another Father's Day message from KPRC2 dad, Robert Arnold. So the best piece of advice about being a parent actually came from my grandfather. It was right after my wife and I got engaged and he pulled me aside and he said, remember, it's the little things that are the most important. If you say you're going to be somewhere, make sure you're there. If you say you're going to take care of something, Make sure you take care of it. He said anybody can make a big splash on a birthday or a holiday. It's the every day that really counts. I've never forgotten that. So happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, right? Bye.
Welcome back to Houston Live. Time now for the Houston Live prize wheel where we spin for you to win. It is your chance to win some pretty cool prizes, including $1,000. And we still have that four pack of Astros tickets. We Lauren. sure do. Plus our newest prize added to the wheel is a two night stay at the Weston Galleria Uptown Houston, plus a $100 gift card to go shopping at the Galleria Mall right there. That is a good prize. Oh yeah, so oh, yes. Today we are spinning for Mariel Edwards, who is joining us right now by Zoom from the A-Leaf area. Marielle, thanks hey. so much for joining us on Houston Life. Thank you for having me. She's ready for Friday with the sparkly headband and all, right? <laughs> yes. You are looking good. Okay, so we had a chance to chat with you during our commercial break. You are at Hastings Ninth Grade Center, Secretary for the Innovative Academy. And this is really cool. The Academy essentially prepares these ninth graders. By the time they graduate high school, what do they leave with? They're going to leave with either a pharmacy certification or an associate's degree in arts. That's amazing. What a great jump off in a high school, too. So awesome. That is great. Yes. That is great. Preparing them for, for the world outside. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Muriel, do you have your eyes on anything specific on this prize wheel? Um, any of the hotel stays and, of course, the $1,000. Oh, yeah. That's oh, a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Okay, Lauren Kelly, what do you say we do it? All right, let's go. I've okay. been practicing all day for you, Marielle. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Mariel, to go see the Astros. How do you feel? Awesome. It is great. Thank you yeah. so much. Listen, if you haven't been back to the juice box in a while, which many of us have not I because have of not. COVID, yeah. this is perfect, Mariel. We are so excited for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Maybe it's time to get a New Jersey, too, before you go so out too. there, right? The perfect yeah. way to yeah. go into the weekend. Mariel, a member of our team, will be in touch to get those tickets to you. Have a great weekend. You too. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching Houston Life. If you would like your chance to spin and win live on the show, all you have to do is join KPRC2's Insider Program. It is free to join, and there's going to be great perks like discounts, giveaways, and so much more. Just head over to click2houston.com slash insider for your chance to win big with the Houston Life prize wheel. All right. Now, coming up, a unique way to take an adventure around the island. I'm hitting the road for a little joy ride with Galveston Slingshot rentals to show you the most fun way to cruise the town. And we will check in with Keith, Lauren, and Frank for a look at what's coming up on the news at four. And speaking of Keith, here is his advice as a KPRC2 dad. So many great moments as a dad, you know, with my oldest, she's the first, so you can't beat that. My second oldest, I actually was able to deliver her. That was so amazing. And my third and fourth daughters, uh, you know, just so many special memories with them. But I would have to say the best advice that I ever got as a dad was to make sure if you want to be a great dad, you want to love your children's mother. That is one of the best pieces of advice I ever got because you, if you can show your kids that you love and respect their mother, that is going to go such a long, long way, not only in the life of your marriage, but in their lives as well. So love those moms. Welcome back to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore along with Lauren Kelly filling in for Lauren today. For Courtney. You know what I meant. <laughs> We're just so glad to have you here. Thank I keep you. reading these dad jokes and they're so good. Can I share another one? Oh, please do. Okay, yes. what do frogs wear on their feet in summer? Frogs on their feet in summer, I don't know. Open toed sandals. <laughs> one more, how about this? Swimming with sharks is so expensive. It cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> Not lying, I can laugh at all of them all day. They're good, right? They're so good. They're so bad that they are good. Well, and our viewers have been keeping <laughs> yeah. us laughing as well. Earlier in the show, we asked you what's your favorite dad joke, and here is some of what you had to say. Jessica writes in, what do evil chickens lay? Deviled eggs. Uh, awesome, <laughs> of course. Delia writes in, I don't mean to brag, but cashiers are always checking me out. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia writes in, why do dads take an extra pair of socks to the golf course? In case they get a hole in one. <laughs> and Rick writes in, I went to the circus. It was intense. Like, get intense. it? Get it? 
<laughs> I love it. All right, now let's check in with Keith, Lauren, and Frank for a look at what is coming up at 4 o'clock. Something tells me y'all got jokes, too. <laughs> Those are some good oh, ones. Oh, it's hard to beat the hole in one. Yeah, they, they would be hard to. I, I don't know if this is a, is a dad joke or not, but my, my wife accused me of stealing her thesaurus. And not only was I shocked, I was astonished and dismayed. <laughs> oh. That's a smart how, how dare she? <laughs> I can tell Lauren really liked that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. You know, yeah, I, I, can, I can pull one out every now and then. My father, rest in peace, he used to always say, Happy Bird Day. Chirp, chirp. <laughs> And my sister and I have made a running joke for decades of that because it is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's not even funny. Now I'm going to do that happy, from here on happy out. Birthday, happy Joe. birthday. Chirp, chirp. But we're, we're laughing about it now, so Dad That's must have done something. <laughs> Silly willy. Oh, goodness. Wow. Okay, well, it's a nice day. It is, yeah. yeah good day for some, some, some hot jokes, warm jokes, or whatever. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but the, the winds are out of the east and even the northeast, and so the humidity is like 30 35%. Consequently, these numbers 94, 92 feel like 94, 92. So we don't really have a feels like going on today. Don't be fooled. When it's 95 outside, it still gets to 114 inside your car in 10 minutes. So always look before you lock. In the meantime, watching potential tropical cyclone three. Still not an upgrade to a depression or a storm. You can see the center is down here south of Louisiana, but it's just not well formed. There's a lot of dry air that's being pulled in. It's lopsided. The rain with this is all heading now into Louisiana across Mississippi. Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida. So they're already feeling the effects of this. Here's the official from 1 o'clock. We'll get an update at 4, and I'll have that at the top of the show. But it has 45 mile an hour winds, just not a good circulation. And that's what defines a tropical depression or tropical storm is that organized circulation. And it does not have that, at least not yet. Moving north northeast at 14, so it's going to be in Louisiana this evening, and it's going to race across Alabama, be in Atlanta by Sunday morning at 7 a.m. And the rain's going to be there with it. I'm going to put a pause point because I want you to see the showers that we get into Sunday for us. This is 7:30 in the morning. All the rain really is back off here to our northeast, but we could catch for Dad a at least a 20 to 30 percent chance for a shower. But nothing today. It's nice and dry out there. So as we head into the weekend, it's a warm, dry evening. It's a hot but still pleasant Saturday, kind of like. Today it's going to be hot, but the humidity will still be on the lower side. And then that shower chance for Dad. I'll have a lot more on Sunday. Chirp, chirp. All right, Frank. <laughs> thank you. Here's a look at some of the other stories that we're covering this afternoon. You may have heard some chatter about this on social media accounts today. There, there are some of those smart thermostats that we understand are changing the temperatures on their own because of ERCOT's request to conserve electricity. We're talking to a Houston area energy company explaining what's happening and how to make sure that no one changes your thermostat except for you. Plus, if you get your water from the city of Houston, prepare to pay more. We will take a closer look at the rate increase and how much extra it's going to cost you over the next five years. So a lot of people uh, interested in that and hopefully Certainly. interested in all the stories we'll have coming up at four in just a little while. Guys. I guess so. Okay. Chirp, chirp. Let's see. Chirp, chirp. Let's see if our clock. It's a good one. It is so good. I'm going to start saying that all the time now. Dad jokes for days. All right, guys. So if you are looking for something fun to do some, with the whole family, rather, it's a very unique way to explore Galveston Island. It's called a slingshot. It's the perfect top-down way to explore. And Lauren, you tried it out, right? It really is such a great way to take in the smells and panoramic views all around you. And it's something Dad will love for sure, too. Our friend Billy, who's the owner of Galveston Slingshot Rentals, took me for a little joy ride in one of their special custom slingshots. If you guys have ever seen one of these, this is a slingshot, and you actually can drive one of these. Look how fun this is! Galveston Slingshot Rentals is the place, and this is the man. This is Billy the Slingshot Man. How you doing? He brought this special one over for us to check out and get a ride in today. And you know, when I first said the word slingshot, I wasn't really sure of what it is. It, I want to call it the Batmobile, right? Does <laughs> yeah. people call that the Batmobile, the Batmobile all the time? All the time, yeah. So what does this thing do? What does it not do? It does everything. It does. You got Bluetooth, you got systems, you have lights, you have just endless amounts of fun and attention. Um, it's it's a titled as a motorcycle, but you don't have to have a motorcycle license to drive it. So that's what's great. It's got a steering wheel, not handlebars, so you're good. So as long as you're 25 years or older, okay. valid driver's license, credit card, you're going to be in this. See ya. Bye. See you in Galveston. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is so much fun, especially if you're on the island. Exactly. Like, how could you not want to drive one of these up and down the seawall, exactly. right? Kids love it, grown-ups love it, wives love it. Obviously, we can only go like 65, 70 on the freeway, yes. but you know, roads are 30, 35. What is the max speed that this does, does go? The max speed is about 120. Uh-huh. Have yes. you ever gone 120? Yes. <laughs> you should probably uh, should have said that. I know, man. <laughs> You're going to be the center of attention. Everywhere you go, all eyes are going to be on you. Right. And, and for people that don't rent, some people don't like the attention, but that's the other thing is, if you're not renting for attention, you're renting because of the experience and how well these handle and just how much fun they are just to drive. Woohoo! That was yes. awesome! Yay! Please. I feel like I'm getting off of a ride at Asteroid. Uh, no, it's, a, it's an amusement <laughs> park ride. It really is. It's an amusement park ride. All right, special thanks again to Billy for showing us his very special custom LED lit slingshot that really was so fun to ride in. I'm, I'm telling you, if you're looking for a last minute gift for dad, he will love this. For more info on how you and your entire family can enjoy a ride in a slingshot this summer, just log on to HoustonLife.tv. I, I told you while this package was running, something that got cut out, a bug actually flew in my mouth while we were riding around because there's no sides and no top and no, to it. And no windshield, right? <laughs> Wow. Straight in. Okay, so did you drink some water after that? I don't know, I choked care, and, right? and something, yeah, it's gone. It does seem like a really cool way to get around, and I can imagine why people love doing this down on Galveston Island. Those oh, wheels yeah. are so cool as well. You can take them, it gives you a lot of space to travel around. It's, it's really a great idea. But sure. get some pretty good assignments yeah. there. All right, coming up, don't miss out on great campsites around Houston. Take the family on a summer adventure. And right now, let's check in with Joe Sam, who is chatting with a group of dads ahead of Father's Day. Yeah, those dads are absolutely amazing. We are talking about Father's Day weekend, which means the barber shops will be packed with dads. I'll show you one place to go that's all about a great parenting atmosphere when Houston Life returns. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. I'd like to encourage you with a message that my pastor once gave me. The days are long, but the years fly by. And as I sit here, a proud dad of a 12-year-old daughter and a 10-year-old son, I know that being a dad is a blessing. And I hope you embrace it. I hope you enjoy it. Wonderful message there. We're going to continue talking about those dads because we all know that they enjoy spending time on a boat fishing, heading out to the golf course to scream out for, and grilling in their backyard. But there is one spot that opens up a deeper conversation with other fathers, the barber shop. I got to hang out with a couple of dads with their sons at the gents spot as they got so fresh and so clean clean for their big day. A lot of gentlemen really enjoy getting these services, but we, they don't really want to get the services in the particular atmospheres. Here at the Gen Spot, we provide all of the necessary amenities to and 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 a level of comfort to where all the, where guys can come in and receive everything that they need to get here at the Gen Spot. Many of those gentlemen preparing for Father's Day and sharing why it's the best thing that's ever happened to them. Well, the best part about it, um, providing for the kids. You know, I didn't go up with a dad in my life, so I make sure that I'm there for my kids at all times. Sons and fathers bonding time at the Gent Spot is something the owner says is the atmosphere that generates great parenting. I don't believe that there's anything more important in life than being a parent, being a father, and being a good father. So, you know, I've dedicated my whole life to making sure that my children are ready to pursue their future endeavors and to be successful in life. So it's very important to me. And his sons agree. My dad has put a lot of emphasis on uh, handling your business. That's one thing that was reiterated to me a lot as a kid was handling your business. So now me as a young adult, that's the first thing that I'm, I'm on my mission every day is to wake up, what do I need to get done today, and making sure that gets accomplished and sticking to my word. I think it's been a huge emphasis on being who you are and being true to yourself. Um, continuing to stay the course, continuing to stay the grind, continuing to, you know, want to be individual, you know, wanting to be who you are and being confident in who you are and being about who you are. Not only can dads enjoy a full-service bar, facials, and haircuts, but a lounge area built for more quality time, something that this father says was important for him. So more than anything, it taught me the importance of just being there every day. It means everything to me. It means um, helping them out, teaching them things, 
watching them grow, um, just enjoying the ride. His oldest son has enjoyed the ride all the way to college, playing football for Southern University. Everything comes from, you know, what he's seen for, for my life, not really what I've seen for my life, you know, because at a young age, you can't really tell, oh, I want to do this. I know, I, I know in my heart that this is what I want to do in life. He came and provided everything that, I, that showed me what it is that I possibly could do. All that drive coming from one emotion. You don't really tell your son, you know, I love you. It's something that's always been, you know, you understand that, you know, and I kind of, every, every phone call we get off of, I just say, I love you, you know, and, and just kind of heighten the importance of the word and, and what it really is, even though we know that I love you and you love me, we need to show it more and, and show that it is true love. It is, you know what I'm saying? It, I really have you through whatever, even though sometimes you know it, hearing it makes it that much better. So I, I would keep it simple and just say, I love you. Yeah, that love goes a long way. Now, the gent spot will be open all weekend, including Father's Day, making sure those dads are pressed and ready. I'll have more information on our website, HoustonLife.tv, on how you can check them out. Now, this is really cool because I actually love the facials there. All of the fathers there, even their sons, they had a great time because there's something for each person to enjoy, and he gets to have some quality time together. Yeah, I mean, they seem like such great guys, and yeah. I agree with you. When I saw those treatments, I thought, oh, wow, I want to do that. <laughs> you got to get one, right? <laughs> Especially on the weekend. Kick the weekend right <laughs> off on a good note. Yeah, <laughs> I love right, that. Joe. Thanks for that. Absolutely. Still ahead on Houston Life, check out the best spots to take the family on a camping adventure that is only a short drive away. Houston Life will be right back. Hi, I'm Mario Diaz, and this is my son, Hudson. Hi. And our favorite memory was a year ago this month. In fact, we were playing, what we do is we have practice in the garage, which is the? Sweat box. The sweat box. And I was throwing to Hudson some baseballs, and he was hitting them and hitting them until I pitched one, and boom, what happened? Hit you in the eye. Hit me right in the eye. And Hudson was all worried. But I said, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And we just sat at the kitchen table and we laughed about it. And of course, I was sporting a shiner after that. I even had one on, on the air there for several days. People were wondering, what happened to you? What happened to you? And the answer was, probably one of my favorite memories of all time. Hitting the baseball with my son and him hitting me in the eye. That's our special memory. I love that. That was wonderful. Well, if you want a fun summer family adventure without having to drive too far away from Houston, camping is a great activity to try. Our friend Amanda Serena, contributor with Mommy Nearest, shares five camping experiences to explore the outdoors according to your lifestyle. Today I am talking about camping in Houston. And so I've got a list of a couple of sites that are all within two hours of Houston that you can try out and kind of get your toes wet if you're working on trying to be a camping family. The first one is going to be going to Brazos Bend State Park. It's only 45 minutes away. They are well known for their alligators. So you're gonna be sleeping with the wildlife and having a great time there. They have primitive camping sites and some with electricity hookups, but for summertime, you're gonna look for a screened in porch and you're gonna look for one of those cabins that you can be at. And while you're there and take advantage of all the trails and fishing, and don't forget to stop by the Nature Discovery Center there. They have different ecosystems set up and then they always have some rangers there that sometimes will take out the reptiles and let you kind of have a little encounter with them. The observatory also recently opened up, so if you're there overnight, it's worth it to do some sort of stargazing, but those are separate tickets, so be sure to research that before you go. If you're looking for a different camping experience that also has places to cool off at and is a little more fancy, you're gonna look for the Lake Livingston on Alaska KOA. That KOA has uh, wonderful, beautiful, clean facilities. They have RV hookups, they have cabins, they have water and electricity hookups for your tents, which you know you want when you're gonna bring your fans there to cool off. But if you also need to cool off, they've got a pool and a hot tub that overlook the lake there. The lake has a 103 foot pier. If you have a watercraft, you can launch it. If you don't, don't worry. They have a swimming site roped off and a little beach roped off too. Another place that is really worth going to, especially if you want to cool off for sure, is to go to Splash Way Water Park and Campground. They have what they kind of like to call a um, splash and crash. So you can go spend your day at the water park, 
um, which is a separate fee. And then you can go to the campground at night and it is completely set up for families. They have outdoor movies, they have pedal boats, they have a stocked fishing pond, they've got volleyball, they've got everything. These people also have plenty of RV sites and they have places, uh, really nice cabins too, there too. Then of course, if you're not truly a camper but you want a taste of camping, you can do glamping. And you wanna put that on your calendar for a new facility that is opening at Lake Houston called The Retreat. And so they are going to have some wonderful things with tons of RV hookups. They're going to have RVs you can rent if you don't really have one for yourself and you want that experience. Covered wagons that have beds and ACs in them. And then they are also going to be opening with a little more luxury things like a beer and wine garden and then also some water and uh, other things to cool off while you're there. Now, of course, if you are intrigued by these camping ideas, but the idea of even getting out and beginning camping is a little intimidating to you because you've never done it before, there's a new company called Find Your Wild Texas and it's TX. And they are, have some certified Texas educators who are going to be doing a whole bunch of different classes to try and get you out there and enjoy our state. They're gonna have camping 101, they have some backpacking, foraging, nature journaling, kayak certification. The people um, at Find Your Wild Texas are gonna be able to get you comfortable so that you can go out there and experience our state in so many things. Thank you so much for having me on again and I uh, hope to see you soon. I love all of those ideas. And we actually want to see if Derek and Joe need those camping <laughs> lessons. So we're going to see if you guys can set up your own tents right here in oh, studio. Oh, so wow. Never done this we have before. a picture of what it looks like. If we can get that on the screen, you guys can see. There you go. That's okay. what you'll be setting up. Okay. So go ahead and open a, it up. I don't even see it. any instructions. Is this um, a timed uh, Oh Yeah, you probably have a endeavor? little bit less than two minutes. Okay. So oh, wow. you've got about 90 seconds go ahead oh, here and get goes started and while Derek and Joe go head to head at home if you want to connect with Amanda and for more information about all the spots she mentioned just check out HoustonLife.tv now let's see oh, oh at least God. the little wire bars are connected okay. yeah I was yep. gonna say at least they're connected that's the good thing about it all, all right, this <laughs> is gonna decide on who I'm gonna go camping with um you may not want to do me because I do not know what I make some really here. good more is Lauren. Oh, that's good. Well, I know one of you will bring the wine, whoever that one is. <laughs> I'll bring the wine as well. Oh, one okay, yeah, left. let's see. All right, oh. I think my wires are falling to pieces now. I, Wait, I, how much time do we have to do about this? About 45 seconds left. Okay, okay. 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 So, I think I got the top like, part of it. Let's see. All right, if you guys need... <laughs> Joe's right. gonna get stuck in there. We're gonna take a oh, quick on. break, and after that, okay. a look at what's coming up on Monday's show, uh, show, including a local couple with their own HGTV <laughs> show. And you don't get in sure, it until it's set up. Oh, my with goodness. Joe. Oh, my God, this is not going well. <laughs> At all. Mike will be right back. What do you mean it's not going well? <laughs> hey! Derek is getting his in. This looks good. Houston Live, take the guesswork out of mo uh, knowing when and how much water to add to your yard, how you can lower that high bill with the help of a free app. Plus, we'll be joined by Houston home renovation experts and stars of HGTV's Two Steps Home, Jean-Pierre and Mary Jean Jopin, with tips on how to sell your pad for top dollar. All right, so now we have the <laughs> camping okay. tip challenge. Look, I'm going to just have to sleep. struggling a little I'm gonna bit. I'm going to have to sleep on top of mine. How's it going over there, Joe? <laughs> I'm just going to go. Hey, Kat, can I get that glass of wine? It's Kat on here. We still have that Father's Day wine. I said, oh, goodness. Derek, have you put something like this together before? Well, well, Derek just brought a house, so he had professional help on getting this together. I can't build anything. Thank you so much. What happened, Joe? Thank I'm gonna you. just I'm gonna can, just sleep on top of. Can we come get in, Derek? Can we come get? Is there enough room? Is there a room, room in there? there? So here's the thing, Joe. There are two different uh, like crossbars, and you just put them together and sort of guide through. Uh, this little space right here. It's easier said than done. Joe, why don't you keep working? Derek, why don't we tell a couple more dad jokes while you're inside of your your little nice tent right there? <laughs> okay, sounds good We've to me. We've got one from Scott. All right, are you ready for this? Where does a cow take a date? I, okay. To, to the, the movies. movies. <laughs> <laughs> that is a really good one. Okay, the next one from Brianna. What do you call an alligator in a vest? 
What? An investigator. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, a really, that's a really good one. <laughs> All right, and from Scott, two peanuts were walking down the street. One was uh, salted. <laughs> oh, poor peanut. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully the one recovered. He's okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Oh, you're, just gonna, inside. you're just going to climb in like a sleeping I'm just bag. I'm going to climb in. On your mic. There, okay. th thanks for All that, right. Lauren. Thanks for that. <laughs> well, oh, let my me goodness. Go. Here we go. There we go. <laughs> Hey, before we At go... At least I'll be protected from the bug. Can we bring out uh, baby Sophia before we go? Yes! Fans want to know. And so, Poppy, too. Let's bring in... In case, yes. in case you missed the top of the show, and Monica, come on in. So this is our producer, Beatrice, <laughs> and her husband, Frank, is celebrating his first Father's Day Yay. on Sunday. Come on out here, along with Mom Monica visiting from Puerto Rico, and check out this cute little face. Aww. She Sophia. is so adorable. She's, She's so adorable. Precious. Oh my goodness. Ready to go to camping. Well, yeah, we'll <laughs> Probably with door. Derek and not with Joe. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank thanks you guys so much for joining us. Have yeah. a great weekend. Good time today. We're gonna send it on over to Keith and Lauren. Hi guys. Hey. Okay. We know who we're hanging out with next weekend. If you got <laughs> babies, you got tents, you got I wine. Know. My goodness. Place to be. A little bit of everything. <laughs> and some dad jokes. <laughs>